those who follow the crowd usually get lost in it. That's why I decided to go on an adventure again. A small charming town off the beaten track with endless white beaches. The best kitesurf seen in Mexico, right on the edge of an amazing nature reserve. Travel with me to El Cuyo and explore the roads less traveled. Leaving Tulum today and going to a very special place that I have already visited on my world trip a few years ago and it's called El Fuyo and it's about two and a half, three hours from Tulum. Due to tourism, most connecting roads and highways on the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico are pretty good and often freshly paved. They are cut right through the jungle. So expect to see a lot of green, no matter where you go. You know that you are close to the town El Cuyo when crossing a big laguna. If you are lucky, you can already get a first glimpse on pink flamingos. We arrived in El Cuyo and we will try to kite surf here in this little paradise today. I visited El Cuyo for the first time in 2017 when I was on my bird trip and I immediately had fallen in love with this tranquil little village. El Cuyo is still small, charming and a little off the beaten track. There are no ATMs and only cash is accepted. But over the past few years, the tiny fishing village became more and more popular among locals and tourists alike that wanted to escape from the touristy and overpriced Riviera Maya, where Tulum is situated. El Cuyo today has a population of about 2000 people. You can find colorful wall art all over the town a pretty church right on the main square and the working lighthouse that is standing in the town center. But El Cuyo is most famous for its stunning white beaches. Tourism in El Cuyo is strongly connected with kite surfing. Since my first visit, more and more people heard about the fantastic windy conditions in El Cuyo. And meanwhile, quite a few kite surfing companies settled down in town. I went with Kites of Mexico, who had their base in Casa Cuyo, the cute little hotel that we stayed in, and whose restaurant is, by the way, having the best burgers in town. Gracias. everyone we are doing a little excursion today it's 7 a.m. and we are going from El Cuyo 
to a small fishing town called Rio Lagartos. And we're going there because there's something really cool that I will show you later. From El Cuyo, there are two ways to Rio Lagartos. The long way over official highways through the jungle and the short one that you will not find on Google Maps and that traverses a nature reserve. Directions are not tricky though. Head to the most southwestern point of the village and take this little dirt road that has an open gate at its beginning. You know you are on the right way when you are passing a little graveyard on the right side of the road. A vehicle with a little higher clearance is recommended as the road in the beginning is quite bumpy and in the rainy season, better make sure you as well have a four-wheel drive. This road that we are taking in the beginning was pretty bumpy and um, now that we are getting closer to the ocean and as well closer to the place that we want to go to, it became much more smooth and is leading along lagunas with pink flamingos and it's super beautiful. The Ria Lagartos Reserve is one of the places that has not yet suffered the impact of mass tourism. It's famous amongst bird watchers though. 395 different species of birds have been counted at the reserve and 58 mammals. Amongst them the endangered spider monkey, jaguar and anteater. But most famous are probably its pink flamingos. The reserve has the largest nesting colony of the species. Each year there are about 15,000 nests formed. Very close to the town of Rio Lagartos is the most famous site of the area, Pink Lagunas. Las Coloradas is the name of a tiny Mexican fishing village and means the colored in Spanish. Nearby, a series of pink lagunas can be found on the edge of the Gulf of Mexico. The huge salt evaporation ponds for sea salt extractions are showing amazing colors due to microorganisms. And the most touristic one is the pink laguna rosa. So the pink laguna was or uh, was it pink? Pink. It was maybe worth to see once, but it didn't completely knock me off my feet. Actually, the drive here from El Cuyo was much nicer than the Laguna itself. And we're going to a small town now that's called Rio Lagartos. And we hopefully there finally will have some breakfast. It's already 10.30 and I'm pretty hungry. Compared to El Cuyo, the town Rio Lagartos feels like a huge buzzing village. Indeed, it has about double the size, with 4,000 inhabitants and a much more developed infrastructure catering to tourists. Rio Lagartos means alligator river, but there is no river, neither are there alligators. The town is located at a lagoon and the reptiles living there are crocodiles. Since 2004, the lagoon is declared a protected biosphere by UNESCO due to being a breeding ground for many species of birds. On 
on our return to El Cuyo, it was finally time to check out the ever-growing scene of restaurants and cafes to show you the best places to eat out in El Cuyo. Now we are going to visit the place of an old friend of mine here in El Cuyo. Make sure you head to Naya Cafe for breakfast or lunch at least once, or like we did, every single day. I am not a coffee drinker, but my travel partner testified the best breakfast and the best coffee in town. So this is my friend that I met on my world trip and now he has this super cool place that he's gonna tell you something about. Hi there, welcome to El Puyo. We're at the Naya Cafe. Uh, we cater here to all dietary requests including gluten-free and vegan diets. Um, and yeah, welcome to our little paradise. If you feel like real Mexican food, Negrida is the best address. Rumors said that the chef of restaurant Conchita, which was the first and only restaurant when I visited El Cuyo in 2017, is now as well responsible for Negrida's food. So this is literally the realest deal you can have in El Cuyo. Dream coming true. The most atmospheric place for dinner is probably La Casa Palma, a food truck that offers amazing empanadas, the best and only pizza in town, and a dining experience under stars at a bonfire. Who would not love this beautiful paradise a little off the beaten track at the Mexican coast? Thanks for joining our kitesurf excursion to El Cuyo. In the next episode, I will take off all alone and show you the best places to visit and things to do at the clearest, most shimmering body of water you might have ever seen. Join my solo trip to the Mexican Lake Bacala at the border to Belize. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment if you like this episode. <laughs>